Hey everybody, welcome to the Lunar Lowdown with me, Sally Nerney. This is the Lowdown for the full moon of Saturday, March 31st, where we find the sun right in the middle of the constellation of Pisces and across the way, reflecting that light, the moon, right in the middle of the constellation of Virgo, the Divine Mother. For me, this was a delightful moon to vision because when I dropped in with the star beings, they took me to the feet of this very large, gorgeous Buddha. And we sat and we emptied out. Everything drains out at this full moon. Let everything go out the bottom of us into the earth, releasing all the plans, attachment to what's gonna happen next, all the dreams. It felt so wonderful, like a cup to just empty completely out, to receive that which is ours to receive now. I got the sensation of magic, the magic of spring, when energies come from the heavens and potentize, fertilize, that which is here on the cusp of the growing season. So our task from the viewpoint of the Buddha is to release our attachments to what's coming, to release attachment to which of our seeds are potentized and enliven our senses in the coming weeks to become awake to what is happening in our garden versus remaining asleep or on autopilot and attending that which we think is growing in our gardens or what we hoped would be growing in our gardens to really tune in to the phenomena around us. So to break that down into practical terms, this moon cycle, try not to be too attached to structures, fluidity and sudden surprises. Hey, ta-da, boo, coming out of nowhere might be the order of the day. Let's talk a little bit more about the relationship between the Divine Mother and her Divine Children, you and me, her kids. Because this full moon is the marriage between the Divine Mother of Heaven and her children, us, humanity, the eternally creative human being and the Wisdom Mother womb of the heavens. In the fullness of this spring light, we receive her benevolent medicine that quickens and enlivens our creative endeavors. As I sat meditating between these beings, this polarity, I got a sensation, the notion that if we're quiet, if we're still, we can receive a potentized seed from the mother into our lives. A seed that comes from her but blooms into fruition through our lives, through your life. And I heard the question in our busyness, can we hold open a corner of our garden for her? Can we make space in our very important lives to foster parent something for her? If we choose to do this, we choose to engage with the emptiness, the not knowing, the stillness. And we do this by being hollow, by being hallowed, by in-breathing, and by saying yes. And it's quite possible that you already have many initiatives in your life that serve the divine. But this service to her at this moon is different. Doing this for her strengthens the tether, the invisible tether that weaves humanity to the stars. radiant full moon light of Pisces and Virgo. Take time to empty out, to let go, to make space for something in your garden from divinity that is unknown to you. And be at peace. And hey, if these videos are meaningful to you, if they help you meet your life with more joy, be sure to get them in your inbox every two weeks by signing up at my website. Share these on Facebook or Twitter or wherever else 
you are socially active, and forward your emails to anybody you think could use a lunar lift. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.